Hi, my name is Brock Kochak. Me and my group project partner Jonas will be talking about differential diffra diffraction and interference. The light at different perspectives. Some scientists in the past argued that the light was made of wave or it contained waves. Those scientists were Descartes, uh, Robert Hooke and Christian Huygens. In the other hand, Isaac Newton argued that uh, the light was made of particles. And when the light goes through a very uh, small area between plates, the the light of the the, the waves of the light uh, that goes through the pattern gets bent when it comes out of the plate and creates a unique pattern in the back surface. And this is defined as diffraction. When we present light as a wave, for example, when a light appears light crescent appears as a straight line in parallel to other crests it's called parallel plane a plane parallel wave when wave crests form concentric circles it's known as circular wave when wave crests form concentric sphere it's called spherical wave behavior of two waves when two waves have same zero same frequency and same differ in non-zero phase constant meaning that when the difference remains same in both space and time, they fall into coherence condition. However, if there's a monochromatic uh, sources of the same frequency and there is a constant phase in between them, then they are coherent. In addition, if two waves are 180 degrees out of the phase, they cancel each other out. Young's experiment on the fringes. As I stated earlier, when the light wave goes through a very narrow area, it bends and it will form a pattern on the surface. There are bright spots and dark spots that are created by those uh, waves that are bent. The bright ones are called maxima and the dark ones are called minima. There is also in the spot center where the light is the brightest and that spot is called central maximum where the bright fringe falls zero. The bright fringes around the central maxima are often referred as secondary maxima or side lobes. Young's experiment on intensity. Intensity of the double slit interference pattern can be calculated with the formula below. If we take sigma as 2 pi over lambda, where lambda is wavelength times the distance times the sine theta where theta is angular position then we can plug sigma into the formula i equal i max which is the intensity of double slit interference when it's maximum times cosine square of sigma over 2 we can calculate the intensity of double slit interference pattern when it comes to single slit diffraction intensity the intensity of the single slit diffraction formula can be written as uh, where the theta is the position given i equal i max time sine alpha over alpha then we take the square of it to find the intensity of single uh, slit diffraction where alpha is defined as one half of uh, sigma and the sigma will be uh, sigma will be defined as uh, twice of 2 pi times w where w is the slit width over lambda times sine theta i hope what i said was helpful and my partner jonas will be talking about more details